Okay, we are going to get started with your NVIDIA Jetson Aura Nano Developer Kit by testing an NVMe SSD to your Jetson Aura Nano. So let's go ahead and unbox this. So what we need from the box is the Jetson Aura Nano itself. And we're also going to need the power supply. We're also going to need a screwdriver, which you can find inside your aluminium case box. And with the screwdriver, we are going to need to uh, flip this over. And we're going to remove the one screw over here. And this is we use to hold down the NVMe SSD. So the next we find our maker disk. This is a M.2 NVMe 2280 solid state drive. This particular one I have here with me today is a 128 gig variant. So what we're gonna do is place the NVMe SSD at a 45 degree angle and then push it push the NVMe SSD into the NVMe slot on the carrier board making sure that the notches on the connector line up and we want to then now screw the SSD down in place so now we can start to assemble the case aluminium top case top aluminium case bottom front panel back panel we're also going to need our camera holder bottom mount and camera holder top mount we got a couple of antennas we got our IPEX4 to SMA cables as well as our button with 4 pin wires and we also have a GPIO extension cable which we will not use I'm just going to back with miscellaneous nylon screws M3 screws, M2.5 screws nylon pillars and nylon nuts as well as a couple of M3 thumb screws for rubber feet we will also need separately from the case box a 22 to 15 pin FFC cable for the camera and we also will need the Raspberry Pi camera module to take back the Jetson Aura Nano I want to disconnect the standard base Wi-Fi antenna so we just need to unhook these two wires and you can just use your fingernails to unhook the two wires and now we can we need to remove the standard base so we take our screwdriver and we need to locate four screws here 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 and here and to not lose the screws I will just screw them back into the base and we can put it back in the Jetson box not lose it next we want to go ahead and connect the two IPX4 to SMA cables to the front panel so what we need to do is unscrew the nut making sure not to lose the two washers that are behind the nut take your front panel and notice that one side is flatter and you want to find the flat side on this connector you can see that this part here is flat and just push it through then take the nut that you remove and screw it on and then repeat for the other antenna we then want to connect the connectors to the RELAM card at the bottom of your Jetson Orion Nano these connectors can be difficult to connect so just be careful and take some time order doesn't really matter now we want to screw the Jetson Nano to the bottom case so you want to find the side with the notch this has a notch on this side but there's no notch on this side this, not, this side instead has actually two cutouts for your FFC cable that we will use later so find the side with the notch 
Okay, I want to orient the case so the notch is on the left side. And then orient the Jetson Nano so that the I.O. ports face upwards, back. Next, we want to open our bag of screws and find four M2.5 silver screws. And now we want to just screw in at the four corners. Next, we want to screw the front plate to the aluminium bottom plate. Align the front plate with the bottom plate and then screw in two M3 black flat head screws. Next, we need to locate one of these jumper pins and find the pins on the Jetson Orange Nano that is labeled Auto On and DIS. And we just want to slid this jumper over those two aforementioned pins. Next, we want to take our front panel button and unscrew the nut. Slide the nut through the connectors. Take the back panel, push the connectors through the plate. Put the nut again through the cables. Screw the nut to the back of the button to secure it to the fan plate and next we want to connect the wires up to the Jetson Orion Nano the blue and yellow wires connect to the power button and ground pins orientation and polarity does not matter while the red and black wires connect to LED plus and LED minus respectively with the orientation and polarity mattering so we can now screw the back plate with the bottom plate. Once again, align it and then take two and three black flat head screws. We're going to put this aside for the time being as we now move on to installing the Raspberry Pi V2.1 camera. So let's take it out of the box. We'll start by disconnecting the factory fitted FFC cable. So this black tab, just pull it back. And then when it's released, you can just pull the cable out. Grab your 1522 pin FFC cable. And with the tab still released, slide this cable in with the dark side facing towards you. Push it all the way in and then push this black connector back in to lock the cable in place. Next, we're gonna take the camera top holder and we want to screw in the nylon pillars with the M2 nylon nuts. First, we need to identify which holes we are gonna use. And if we just lay over the Raspi camera, we can see that we will be using these four holes here. So take a nylon pillar and then push it through. And on the other side, take a nylon nut and so it looks something like this and repeat for the other three holes. Orientation doesn't matter. Place our Raspberry Pi camera onto the nylon pillars and then take the nylon screws and screw it into Next we're going to take back the Jetson Orion Nano and locate one of the two NIPI CSI camera connectors on the side over here. We then want to release one of the, ta the tabs. And 
and then we can light in the FFC cable through the cutout on the side of the case and into the MIPI CSI connector and then lock the tab back in place to secure the FFC cable. So putting this aside for a while, let's take the aluminum top case and screw on the camera holder bottom with two M2.5 silver screws. We then can overlap the camera holder top mount and camera holder bottom mount, align the screw holes and then tighten them using the M3 thumb screws. And now we want to install the case top or the case bottom. So I'll take this case top and just slide it on top of your case. And we're going to use four M3 screws here, 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 and here to secure it all together. Next, we want to attach the antennas just by screwing them onto each of the SME connectors. And next, we can finally put four rubber feet at the bottom. And that is the finished, assembled Jetson Orellano case.